This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating activation energy. In a previous video, we looked at the Arrhenius equation, and we learned that the rate constant K is temperature dependent. We can use the temperature dependence of the rate constant to calculate activation energy. So in this video, I'll be looking at two methods of how to calculate activation energy. The first method involves taking the natural log of both sides of the Arrhenius equation which gives us ln k is equal to negative Ea over Rt plus ln A. Next, we rearrange this equation to give us the equation for a straight line, where m, which is the gradient, is negative Ea over R, and c, which is the y-intercept, is the natural log of A. On the left, we have a graph of the natural log of k against 1 over T. As we saw in the previous slide, the y-intercept is the natural log of A, and the gradient is equal to negative Ea over R. So to summarize, a graph of the natural log of K against 1 over T gives a straight line with the gradient negative Ea over R. We then use this equation to calculate the activation energy, which is negative Ea is equal to the gradient multiplied by the gas constant. So next we look at an example. In this slide we have a graph of the natural log of K against 1 over t, which was plotted from the data on the left. The first step is to find the gradient of the line. So the gradient is equal to the change in the y-axis over the change in the x-axis. So here we can see how to determine the change in the y-axis and the change in the x-axis. Next, we'll use these values to calculate the gradient of the line. So the gradient of the line is equal to negative 1.84 divided by 3.30 times 10 to the negative 4, which gives us a gradient of negative 5,576 Kelvin. In the next step, we multiply the gradient by the gas constant, which gives us an activation energy of 46,337 joules per mole. In the next method of how to calculate activation energy, we use the value of the rate constant at two different temperatures. So in this table, we have the value of the rate constant for reaction at two different temperatures, which are 283 Kelvin and 508 Kelvin. We then use the equation shown, which can be found in the IB data booklet. The previous equation can be rearranged to solve for activation energy, which we can see here. The next step is to input the values from the table into the equation. So here we have the equation complete with the values. And this gives us an activation energy of 61,742 joules per mole. 